It's great to welcome to Kick and Chase one of our Olympic gold medalists from the Australian Sevens team, Emma Totagato. Welcome to you. Uh, first up, the shoulder. How's that going at the moment? Yeah, um, taking a bit longer than I would have liked. I had a bit of a fall um, during my rehab time. So, yeah, hoping to be back around November. So I should get some game time in over at the Oceana Sevens and would definitely look to be back um, Dubai Sevens. So uh, considering that, you probably had plenty of time to rest up and keep an eye on that Women's World Cup. And, of course, some of your Sevens teammates playing for Australia in that. What did you make of the, the Wallaroos? Yeah, so we had three girls go over. Our two captains, Shannon and Shiny and Mahalia Murphy, um, yeah, I think they did really well. I was pretty proud of them. They finished sixth, which is better than last time. So they did have a lot of young girls in their team. And yeah, I think they should be proud of where they finished. A, a great experience, Emma. And obviously, great character shown by the side where they played Ireland, lost to them in a really tight game in the pool, yeah. then had to play them again in the playoffs and, and beat them in a great game, but beat them pretty comfortably in the end, but uh, good character from them. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, they got revenge over Ireland and I know that's what the girls wanted. So yeah, pretty proud of them. Now, big weekend for Sevens as well, taking a bit closer to, to your home. Um, the National University competition, the, the first weekend of that, and you were heavily involved in that. What did, what did you make? So much talk about what this would do for the game and, and that elite pathway. The first weekend, what did you think? Yeah, the standard was actually really, really good. I was really impressed. And I know while she was too, our coach, um, the girls, you know, they had the opportunity to show what they've got. And that's what this tournament's all about, you know, showing up and coming girls and them getting the opportunity to show the coach and make their way into our squad. And yeah, I think the standard was awesome. And I can't wait to see the next three tournaments. So you commentated for the first time. Do you prefer commentating or, or out there in the middle? <laughs> yeah, I wish I was playing. I ran a bit of water too. So I was quite busy, but... Um, yeah, as I said, it was awesome to watch. I reckon Walsh is probably hoping that he's going to see some, some new stars on the horizon here, right? Oh, so, out, out for sure you'll find some new players. Yeah. It's still such a young game. There'll be so many diamonds in the rough in that competition. Not, not only in, in the competitions that have gone place, but there's one coming up at Macquarie University. And obviously it just gives you another platform for other young up-and-coming players to showcase their wares. And just for those who maybe didn't get to see who won the tournament, uh, which team won uh, on the weekend? UQ, University of Cle Queensland, came oh, through. Yeah. That was a loaded yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. That was a loaded question. question. One of Drew's yeah. eight clubs. One of the eight clubs. <laughs> yeah. So that's Emily Cherry's side, yeah? Yeah, so yeah. they had um, Emily Cherry and Emma Sachs from our squad and... Yeah, they were really strong all weekend. They went through undefeated and they got some really good up-and-coming girls. You know, they had Mackenzie Sadler and Lily Dick and they really stood up and, yeah, were on equal playing field. How did the girls within the seven squad go against playing against each other? Did they rip in? Yeah, there was a bit of banter leading into it, but, um, <laughs> no, nah, they really performed and they also know that as an Australian member, squad member, they want to stand up and make sure they're noticed and they play to their ability, which yeah. I think they did.